The fighting special will be the special weekly for the upcoming game week and I'm so excited for it and in today's video I'll talk about how to prepare but first of all if you're brand new to Sawyer remember to sign up using the affiliate link I'll have one first in the description where you'll get 50 euros after buying 5 cards and as you can see on the screen right here this actually won by landslide 49.5% fighting special where yellow cards will go from minus 3 to plus 15 and fouls will be rewarded plus two points there going from minus one to plus two and I'm so excited for this I've gone on a little shopping spree I'll talk about how you can prepare the best for this as well and it will be for the upcoming game week uh, 6th of September to the 10th of September it will be international game week as well which is also very very interesting and it makes the international break a lot more fun and also I have made four new signings which will be in a team for under 50 euros in rare and all these signings will be specifically for this competition I also have Brad Stuver here which is also a special weekly goalkeeper and I'm, I'm just so excited for this one because it's such a fun concept. I also love the new tackle special, but I think this is very fun because it's the complete opposite of what you actually think. When a player gets a yellow card, wow, that is a shame, but in this competition specifically, you are going to celebrate it, which is very, very fun. And also, I have bought uh, two Norwegian players, I bought one Slovenian player and also one Austrian player and let's start off with Arnautovic because he is probably a player that I waited so long to get, pick up because Grigoric, the Austrian striker, is injured and Arnautovic is such a player that he's so aggressive on the pitch he will get tons of yellow cards, uh, hopefully at least uh, so this one I'm so excited to watch in action and I, I, we can go through all of them uh, I think this will be the team I will be lining up we have Adrian Nilan in season card but of course it won't matter in a special weekly we will have Leo Estigor, Sander Berge, uh, Arnautovic and also uh, Jakob Bijol in the fighting special. And we can start off with uh, Le or let's start off with Arnautovic because he is such a fun player. And Arnautovic, uh, there we go. He is currently also playing from Inter for Inter. I mean. And uh, in terms of the fixtures, they have Slovenia and then Norway. So we have two players that plays against each other, or three players that plays against each other, but it's a double game week. And uh, mainly I think he will have a lot to do against Slovenia and also Norway. And I'm just uh, banking on him getting a yellow card. And he's a forward that gives away a lot of fouls. Uh, one yellow card there, one yellow card there. And as a forward, getting two yellow cards in four games for your national team is very very good in my opinion and he's also forward he can get you those goals as well and for only eight euros i think i bought him for in terms of if you go to rare hair yeah i bought him for eight euros which is a bar in my opinion and also because he should be pretty nailed for austria because of the injury of gregoric uh, and uh, yeah this will be the forward in this team and now let's move on to uh, leo Östigor. i think i had him here yeah leo Östigor, the norwegian center back He's a, a, a bit like Le, Lisandro Martinez. I love him. And also, he has had a pretty good start to René. But as you can see here, back to back to back yellow cards, which is just fantastic. And that is something you love to see. Giving away two fouls, this would have been uh, going for uh, minus uh, four points to plus four points. Because, like, that is also a question I have. Because fouls minus one to plus two. So that also goes for uh, the defender, I think, or it should at least be that way. Uh, and uh, you could also argue that it should be multiplied, so it should be plus four, but I don't think so or have taken that too much into consideration. That is something we need to look out for, but I still think he will get a plus two point there. Um, so this score would have been a lot better, to say the least, especially against Denmark area. He would have been on... Uh, close to 50 points and that is just ridiculous to say he would have been close to 50 points considering three goals against Denmark and also the fixtures Kazakhstan and Austria those are two good fixtures as well and also yeah he has, he, he's a player that gives away a lot of yellow cards and he gives away a lot of fouls and that is something we love to see and he's also a very very dangerous player and when it comes to set pieces he gets a lot of goals also we saw in the last epic trail very very good performance by Leo Estegård and uh, we have also Sande Berge, which I have purchased recently, uh, I think also. And also in terms of the price, we can just go, he's the most expensive player. We bought him for 20 euros, I think still that is a very, very fair price for him. Sande Berge is another player that we have in the midfield. He is also a player that loves to give away a foul. 
in a rare we bought him for around 7.6 here which I think is a very very fair price and uh, scrolling down he isn't the player that gets too many yellow cards uh, but for Norway he's a player that gives away uh, two fouls here uh, two fouls here. He's a player that loves to give away a foul and also he plays for Norway, he has a double game week and if we get lucky he will most likely get the yellow card, that would be lovely. And also in uh, the extra player we have Ljaka Biul and all these guys are very cheap and they have those peak potential scores if they get the yellow card and maybe decisive and all of these guys have also double game week in this international break as well. Yellow card, yellow card, yellow card. Yellow card, yellow card, he's also centre-back and um, he can get to those very, very good scores. If we go, if you feel, filter out to Slovenia, he has a 63 in average score, which is just fantastic as well. Adding up the yellow cards here, that would have been plus 15 instead of minus 3. This like would have looked a lot better even though. So it's just fantastic uh, to have a player like Lu... Uh, to have Jakob Biul in this team because he's such a good scorer in general. So this will be the lineup and also Nyland in goal as I mentioned. I think this team looks very very strong, everyone with double game, uh, double game week and uh, I'm very very excited for this tournament or this, uh, yeah, this tournament, this special weekly and I think also reward boxes should be given away to the top 10% and when I talk about preparing for this I mainly, uh, like how I have prepared for this personally, I've just gone on Footmove and just searched up, search up different players uh, that have double game week. Just go on the Friday fixtures and try to choose the players. Or we could go on Sorier data here and try to find players uh, that have uh, that is cheap mainly if you want to prepare for this like this special week specifically only for this. I think the best way to do it is to try to find those hidden gems. Let's go to player and card finder. Let's uh, go through the different positions you want to find out, and then you go, uh, of course, filter out has a game week, and then you do game week 508. And then you could, of course, uh, filter by scores and also uh, filter about uh, the price here. Filter by floor, pr floor price, try to find a good value of money. And we could just start off here and try uh, to take maximum 10 euros. And here we have uh, different options like Pepe, he may play, although I think he have retired, so. Probably not a good uh, choice to go for. Robin Lude, although he isn't the best type of player for this, I think Milenkovic could be an incredible player because he's also a player that loves to give away a foul and for Serbia, two yellow cards in four matches. And also he's a guy that loves to give away fouls. If we go up here, yeah, fouls here, uh, fouls here, uh, fouls here. So he's a player that loves to do that. Also he has a yellow card in him for sure. And I need to take a honorable mention here for uh, some of you guys that may have enough funds to take a punt on uh, Robin Lenormand. Because he's a player that loves to give away fouls. And I can't address this enough because he just loves to give away foul. And if we go to... Uh, I think we can start off with this one. Not this one, I'm sorry. Let's start off here. Uh, okay, only one foul, surprisingly. Uh, two fouls. And then we have one foul in 45 minutes, and then we have three fouls, and then we have uh, two fouls, and then we have uh, three fouls. Like these are a, these are a player that consistently hits three to four fouls each match for Spain, and also when he played for the Altsudal, like he gave away so many fouls. And in terms of this competition specifically, Lederman could be the perfect option for you. Uh, although I would personally try to find a more budget alternative for him because he is on the expensive side. 55 euros in rare and around uh, 8 euros in limited. But this competition I'm so excited for. And also when it comes to international um, week, we have some more lineups here. And this is only the first tackler lineup. I have three different lineups. And first of all, I want to show you uh, the all-star lineup because it will be also an also tackler special. I think it will be very, very competitive. So therefore, I think preparation is key to do well in uh, the tackler special and also in all-star. We could start off with my two all-star lineups. I think this will be my first choice all-star lineup. Jan Oblak, Harry Sutar, uh, Bruno Fernandes, uh, Sörlot, and also uh, Maximilian Mittelstadt or uh, David Rehm, depending on who is predicted to play. And also, uh, the team two here will be something like this. Danny Warren goal, we have Jules Kunde, uh, Christian Eriksen, uh, Kramaric and also Kubi Mainu. Uh, and, and of course I showed you now uh, the first tackle tacklers special team. And now let's move on to the second choice team, which will be something like this. Danny Ward, Diogo Dalot, 
of the um, Andras Schaffer Schaffer, I mean Budimir and also Dare O'Shea. I think Budimir is a very good option because he's a striker that gives away a lot of fouls. He's in a lot of duels mainly, and I think uh, it could be very, very nice to have him in this team specifically. And also Dare O'Shea against England, an extremely tough fixture, but I just pray that he will give tons of fouls away. The same with Andres Schaefer, very tough fixture, but hopefully they will, as I said, give away so many fouls. Uh, also, Cap 220, as it says here, but keep in mind, it will be a tackler's special team. Where we have Skorupski in the goal against uh, Croatia, Diogo Dalot, Scott McTominay, Asani, and also Smallbone. Hopefully these guys will give away tons of fouls and also maybe get a yellow card or two. That would be lovely, and are you excited for this special weekly? Uh, because I'm so excited for it. And I personally can't wait. And uh, hopefully your teams will perform and uh, hopefully I see you on the leaderboard and I will of course catch you in the next one. Bye bye and take care. Peace.